I'm fishing in Iowa and I typically like to make a little corn joke at the beginning of these videos, but I seem to be running out of them. So if anybody has a good one out there, I'm all ears. <laughs> What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy and I like fishing puns and corn puns and just puns in general. So um, we are fishing and we're about to run into shore so I'm going to push this out. I'm fishing with my good friend Matt Bavrock. He's the blurry guy that I can't point at in the back of the boat. <laughs> we are out here on some really good waters in Iowa. The only bad part we have is wind. We've got beautiful overcast conditions. Um, this should be good other than we have to deal with a little bit of wind. So we are going to be looking for probably postponed muskies. The water temps here are in the low to mid 50s. So um, we're just gonna have to see what we can find. We're gonna be checking weed edges. We're gonna be checking back in little cuts and that sort of thing. So. This is a little bit of an exploratory mission. We are out here throwing gliders and what else we got? We got diving rises, we death got paws, minnows. death paws, minnows. We're gonna be throwing everything we can at them and just trying to figure out if we can find a little bit of a pattern and see if we can't stick one of these really cool looking Iowa muskies. All right, everybody, I'm gonna start out throwing a Kodiak and Navin. I know, it's a big shocker. Different color this time though, I'm going away from the uh, sort of natural walleye-ish colored one that I had to the white tiger and throwing it on the Tranks 400 Assault Stick 2020 Surgical Strike. Matt's throwing a Shackinaw. What do we got? Shackinaw. And he's going to be throwing this little beauty. Got him a fish the other day. Look at that. It's even beat up a little bit there. So this one's got some good musky mojo. We got the half ounce um, deep threat weight on it. He's throwing that on a 2020 Shackinaw 400 tranks as well. So that's the gear we're using. Those are the baits we're going to start out with anyway and let's catch musky. Oh, there's, oh, it's a little small mouth. <laughs> oh, it's not small mouth. That would no? be a spot. Oh, okay. There's a little spotted bass on. Uh, I wouldn't say little. That was probably a state record right there. Oh, he was like that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he was a little guy. Oh, there's a fish right there. What's that? There's a fish right there. Just hanging out? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to eat it. You see him? Yeah, I do. Bro, I thought he was going to come up and smash that thing. <laughs> okay, so that tells us a lot. Okay. Yeah. That means uh, we, need to poke, we need to poke further back because that was like a... 30 inches. Yeah, I think this might have been even a little bit. It was like or not 30 inches, 36. Yeah, it was, a, it was like a 30, 34, 36 inch fish just hanging out on top yeah, of these. Stars. Yep, yep. So, hey everybody, we just learned a thing. We found a muskie hanging out. That was pretty neat. That was cool. <laughs> All right, that's a start. There's a fish, there's a fish. Nice fish. Tried to eat it. Tried really hard. I, I was trying to stop the trolling motor. So I was coming away from him. That was, a, that was a big fish, dude. Dude, that was like a four footer. Yeah, that was a nice one. Ah, <laughs> too much going on there. <laughs> Dude, it just missed. I know. It just it just missed it. Yeah. Fish. Come back this way if you need to. Ready? 
Okay, here we come, here we come. Just watch those cameras. I'll come front, I'll come front. Here she comes. Nope, nope, nope. There we go, there we go. <gasps> the bait just popped off. Dude. The bait just popped Dude. off. Dude. The bait just popped off. Dude. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, Dude. back up a little bit. We'll get this locked in. Get him locked in, get him. Okay. Dude. Bro. <laughs> That's not, that's not even the one, dude. You don't think so? I don't. I don't uh, it, look, it looks pretty close. Looks pretty close. Holy, dude. holy heck. Well, Brian, wow. I think that one I made up for my net job uh, last year. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, buddy. Wow. Okay. Um, the audio is probably going to be crap, but I don't care. <laughs> we have a giant Iowa muskie in the bag. We're going to try to get it out here. We're tucked back in, trying to get out of the wind. We're gonna get it measured, get a look at it, and get her back into the water. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Oh my God. Dude, that is a freaking tank. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that fish. That is a giant. That is a giant. Look how thick she is. My goodness. <laughs> All right. Forty-four and a half. Look at this fish, though. How gorgeous is that? Oh my gosh. Wow. So excited. So excited. All right, we're gonna release her here. Okay. Let's get her down below the water there. There we go. There we go, sweetie. Oh my gosh. Take your time there, big girl, no worries. I think she's going to kick off here. Bro. Uh, unreal, How dude. cool is that? Unreal, dude. That <laughs> makes today worth it. I didn't even think we were going to be able to fish today. Where we were supposed to go was in the northern part of the state. The storms chased us off. We had to cancel on some people. It really sucked. But we decided to come out here fight the wind at least there's no rain so we could film and it paid off huge so huge gorgeous Iowa muskie on a, the Kodiak blunt nose. I love this little five and a half inch glide bait. Um, gets a little bit deeper than most of the other ones and got me a fish yesterday, got me a fish today. Of course, Tranks 400, Surgical Strike 2020 Assault Stick. Um, yeah, couldn't be happier. Handled that fish awesome. We got lucky. 
uh, that fish popped off right at the net. She was doing some really funky stuff down there, but um, rather be lucky than good, right? So this is what we're using. We're gonna try to get back to fishing. Again, I apologize about the wind noise, but it is what it is, as they say. Ladies and gentlemen, you may wonder why I'm sitting in the bottom of the boat. We have road noise, we have wind noise, we have less than ideal conditions to do any of the, to musky fish, let alone film it. But that was one of the coolest catches of the year for me so far. And I know the year, that, that might be the best one all year. I don't know. An Iowa muskie of that caliber and that good looking is just, it's unreal. We're both, like Matt and I are both just out of breath, speechless. It's partly because we're old, but it's also partly because this is super exciting and that's what's supposed to happen when you catch a fish like that. Just, I'm, I'm over the moon, couldn't be happier. And uh, we're just gonna keep fishing, see if we can get another one. Oh, there's a fish. There's, oh, it's a bass, it's a bass, it's a bass. Okay. Whoo! Good bass, dude. Boom, baby! <laughs> just both left a four pounder. <laughs> Come here, yeah, stab it, stab it! Yeah, now the cats are going to be smelling the... There we go. <laughs> Look at that. That was kind of fun. <laughs> That's, I'm like the Kevin Van Dam of musky fishermen. Or something. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful fish. That's that kind of fun. There you go, sweetie. Sorry about flopping you in the boat. All right, everybody. We're going to wrap up today. But there's this thing about musky fishing where it only takes one bite. It could be the first bite, it could be the last bite. But if you go all day and all of a sudden you get that mid 40 inch fish or that trophy class fish for the body of water you're on, I don't care if it's a 40, a 50, a 55, whatever it is, that can absolutely 100% make your day. And that's what happened to us today. That's so awesome. <laughs> I want to thank Matt Vavrock for having me down here in Iowa. It was a little bit of a grind today. We saw a couple fish shallow um, with some spawn scars on them. That big girl we got dropped a couple eggs, so she is getting ready to go. The water temps are right at that spot where you have fish going in, fish coming out. They're just kind of everywhere. Makes it a little tougher, but that's all right. We're here to try to figure it out. That's the other beauty of musky fishing, is it makes you think a little bit and it makes you a little crazy. <laughs> and I'm sure you've seen that. So with that, we're gonna go have a celebratory cocktail, if you will, try to get some food, get cleaned up, get rested up, because we're gonna do this all again tomorrow, people. And that's it. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you on the next video.